the stadiums you you will always remember. Okay, so Betis uh, make four changes. In come Mondi, Durmisi, Martin, Brasanac, out there, Bruno, Alex Martinez, Felipe Gutierrez and Dani Ceballos. Let's talk about the man who is the centre forward. In between the veterans, Alex Alegria. Uh, talk to us a little bit about him. Yeah. Well, it's the, <laughs> Gustavo Poyet has decided to put Rubén Castro uh, left on the left-hand side, even though he's a striker, because of Alex Alegria. He's added something else to Betis. He's a not, not typical striker from the scores the goals. Yes, Bale does the same. Benzema now is not at his best. But Marcelo always adds something different. Look at him. He appears sometimes as a number nine, sometimes surprising the opposition, often surprising the opposition, which is something that, uh, you know, he helps you a lot to create. Uh, in terms of Isco, it is another chance to show that he's a Real Madrid player. He hasn't been consistent enough, in my eyes anyway. I don't think Real Madrid are that impressive, with, that impressed with him, and we will see about... His team haven't been beaten in the last 21 games. They've won 16. Real Madrid, the current European champions, they're going to this weekend, joined the top of the table. They beat Barcelona in the last game they played again. Tony Cruz delivers lovely ball in, oh. and Real Madrid take a fourth minute lead. Rafael Varane was at the head of the queue. Rob, do you know it's all about class delivery, and Tony Cross is very, very good at putting the ball into the right area. And when you've got Pepe, Varane, Bill, Ronaldo, Benzema, you know they've got four or five very good headers of the ball. Rafael Varane, that's his second goal. Let's have a look, see the movement. Well, he's got a free run, Rob, it's per marking. He's got a free run, he's run two or three yards, he's checked and headed in the back of the net. That's awful defending, I don't think Gus Poyer will be very happy with that. Good goal for the left back leading. Oh, the left, goes. it's Benzema with Bell and Ronaldo alongside him. Ronaldo takes it on. Now to Bell. Ronaldo well, wants it on that magical left foot, little back foot, Tesco! Ronaldo! Two steps out, Cristiano Ronaldo misses. The home supporters rather enjoy that moment. Well, take a picture of that, you'll not see that too often. Fabulous build up from Real Madrid, great ball in from the right hand side. You can see the overlap here, good delivery in. And he doesn't miss normally from there, that's a, an open goal. Zinedine Zidane knows it's an open goal. This is Isco. Marcelo. Marcelo across the face of goal. It was Bale coming in late. Oh, lovely back flip from Marcelo to Benzema. Raise a sharp reaction from Karim Benzema. Look at this again, Rob. Could Karim Benzema not just struck it with his right foot and taken another touch? It was cut back by Marcelo. I thought, just hit it. Have a look at this there. Just hit it with your right foot. Go at the moment he's signing players up, here's Marcelo, tidy cross for Marcelo, free head, a big save by Marcelo. Zidane, he didn't quite know how he kept it out, and the main thing was, he stopped Bale scoring. Oh, what a save Rob, good goalkeeping, great ball, again down the left hand side, Marcelo's back and you can see, he makes a huge difference, loads of space, gets his cross in which is wrong, and then the defender trying to stop Bale, but Bale's too strong for him, you can see here Bale coming in round the back of him, and what a good save attention of the ball but overly confident from Real Madrid ball is given away and well, that is the danger and that is the man they don't want to give it to yep. top scorer Ruben Castro well Real Madrid trying to play out and a square ball coming from that man Rafael Varane again he gives it away very cheaply and he's made several mistakes it's cost goals for Real Madrid over the last two or three weeks Bale the cross comes shot and it had to be Decisive goalkeeping from Adam. Good run. And it's acknowledged by Cristiano Ronaldo. Goalkeeper. Not sure, and he just gets his fist to the ball. Marcelo. Usual suspects of lining up. Marcelo with his right foot. Sometimes since he's uh, scored with his right foot. Hasn't scored yet in La Liga this season. Well, still always more productive for me when Marcelo's playing down the left side than the right side. Carvajal service. Good ball. There is Castro. He doesn't need much space. Castro! Oh, oh, oh. We've seen him whiz them in from there over the years. Not too far away, Rob. Decent play from Real Betis and 
Lovely build up. Find Ruben Castro on the left hand side with a bit of space from that pass. And he looks to curl it with his right foot. He opens up his body. And it's not too far away, Rob. I'm getting better, getting closer. Well, they need to get more shots and they need to hit the goal. That's the, the problem. But this is the man who. Joaquin. Oh, he gives it away. Now they have a numerical advantage here. It's Cruz to Benzema. It's 2 0. Betis, daring gifts, punished by Benzema. Well, it's an awful mistake from Joaquin Rob trying to dribble outside, just outside his own defensive third. Loses possession. And it was a three against one. And the goalkeeper made it easy as well. And Anne thought the ball was going to be played across him. And he got beat at the near post. And he's not had many, many uh, touches of the ball, Benzema. This is trying to win it. Loses to Tony Cross. He runs, commits defenders, and then slots it into the path of Benzema. And he puts it into the near post past the goalkeeper, Adan. And it's been coming. The second goal's been coming. But they have to defend better than that. I think Gus Poyet will know that. Well, it is good to see a small back of the face of Karim Benzema. And stretching up on his left, right, and centre. Brilliant run from Marcelo. Good feed as well. He's probably been their best player. Lovely piece of skill here from Isco. Clever little pass to Marcelo. And he hits the target. Well, good save again from Adan, who's going to be a very. Gino gets past Cruz quite easily. Oh, and he saw that top corner and he was going for it. Well, that's a lovely piece of play. Once again, the architect is Joaquin. He gives it to Vicini and he goes right inside. Really, he gets inside. And he cross. Benzema. Of course, a brilliant ball. It's a great run as well from Isco. Takes it off the toe of Marcelo. Back to Benzema. He started the move. Takes a few skittles, comes to Marcelo! He's not embarrassed to make it 3-0. Well, a bit of good fortune here. There's a reflection, Rob, and they're appealing for a hard ball. I think there might have been reason for that, but too much space and time for Kareem Benzema coming inside on his right foot. You know, he took a couple of touches coming inside and then had the shot that deflected up for Marcelo, who put it in the back of the net. Lovely run, Isco. Spills now Marcelo go past him. The defender buys the run from Marcelo, teed up one touch, and he strikes it. Double deflection, he's not offside. They're appealing for handball. Let's see, but had him in the top of the neck, didn't it? Not handball, and he missed it as well in the back of the net. Rob, but listen, they played some good football around Madrid. He makes a big difference in the side again, doesn't he, Marcelo? And you said he hadn't got a goal yet this season. Well, he has now. Let's look at it again. When he kicks well, he's the shot, he's offside. The shot. Yep, he's offside. He's offside. He was offside. Right side. Yeah, he was offside. He's in Tehran. Oh, good play. It is by Wacky. He moves Marcelo. Brings Pacini into it. Pacini puts it back across the face of goal. Last time really that Real Madrid have been stretched. Castro was kind of a fox in the box. Disappointing, and this is where Ramadan do have the pace. Kovacic leads the charge. It's a five on three situation. It's not just any five either. It's Benzema to Ronaldo, and it's walked what in from Isco. How about that? Turning defense into offense in one foul swoop. Crisis, Real Madrid, what crisis. heading for 22 games without defeat, heading back to the top of the table. For some reason, Zinedine Zidane still under scrutiny. Oh, I, can't, I said it before kickoff, Rob. I can't understand it, but that is a brilliant team goal. One end to the other. Look at this. Headed down. First pace by Kovacevic. Then he breaks. Look at Pepe striding out on the right hand side. It goes in there. So screen Benzema. Cristiano Ronaldo. And he slide rules that pass deep to the far post. And he could have put it in, I think, Pepe. And he just squares it for a top end for Isco. Brilliant, brilliant team goal. You go a long way to see better than that, Rob. That's class. Well, the experts are still looking for a definition of Zinedine Zidane's at Real Madrid. And maybe in that one move there, we got it. The centre-half laying the ball onto the central midfield player. <laughs> After seconds ago, they were defending a Malaga corner kick. Well, anything Atletico Madrid can do, they can do better. That is possibly offside, I think.
On the uh, initial pass, sure. it was. Yeah, on the initial pass, definitely yeah. it was, Rob. Definitely. Well, plenty of goals, plenty of talking points at half time. And the Benito Villamarin Stadium It's a bit of a walkover at the moment. Royal Betis nil. Kovacic or oh, Cross looking after him so he can go forward. Second half getting underway with Jerry and Rob. Well, it's interesting that Gus Poyet has retreated to the shadows of uh, the coaching. Changes made by Gus Poyet. Here is Castro. Pacini's alongside him. Zorzulia's in the centre. And it's the best move of the game from Benis. And he might result in a goal yet. Joaquin is there. And uh, Pepe blocks. Attitude and determination there. Lovely skills here. Wonderful skills from Ruben Castro. And he plays the ball wide to Pisella. Continues his run. A little bit of good fortune when the ricochet falls from there. He cuts it back. And then the header from Joaquin cleared off the line. By Trying to get things organised at the back. And it's another, yet another free header. So much finger pointing going on amongst the Real Betis players. Well, I give credit to Tony Cross for the, the delivery. Wonderful delivery into the right area. And Ronaldo steps back and just gets a glancing header. It doesn't hit the target, but I think there is Castro. And he's down by Goret. Oh, that's Martin. Good ball through. Lock in! And so, how about that for a step over from Carver Howe on his own goal line? But he's got a reaction. This is much better from Rob Edison. They're acting as more than a sparring partner for Absolutely. Real Madrid. Now. And do you know what? Joaquin's been brilliant for the first half and the start of the second half. Clever ball in. Joaquin's shot wide of the far post. Obviously, he's very aware of his positional sense, Sir Carvajal. He steps over it. No. Ball through. Here is Pepe. That's a wasteful pass. Jonas Martin is onto it. Big chance. Nice oh, turn. Venice oh. restores some pride. Cejudo, is it? Looks like it is the half time substitute. Alvaro Cejudo makes an impact. It's taken him 10 minutes to impose himself upon the game. It's a great reaction from supporters as well. But they were battered and bruised at half time. 10 minutes the second half, they played much better. Now, this is overplaying. He's trying to play his way out. Uh, Pepe, and he makes a mistake. Lovely little layoff there. Clever layoff from Joaquin. And Tejudo on the end of it, left foot, he slots it past the advance of Navas. It's a good goal and thoroughly deserved by Real Betis. That's more like it. Oh, Cejudo. Marcelo. This comes past to Benzema. Brilliant pass to Marcelo. He has options. One of those is Bale. Bale to Ronaldo. Too much of an ask for Ronaldo to score. Across the face of the goal, Benzema was wrestled to the floor. It goes in there. Wow. Tremendous goal. Well, this guy is trying to earn his stripes again on his shoulder at Real Madrid. And he's got a fantastic fifth. Well, easily it's his best game I've seen this season. He's go keeping it simple when he has to, but showing class when he has to as well. That's a brilliant goal. He bends it in the top right-hand corner, Rob. A good build-up, Marcelo here. Gives it the bail, and it's slotted in front of Ronaldo. A little bit too far. He tries to dig it in for the header for Benzema. It's behind him. Falls kindly here for Isco. On his left foot, Luke, or his right foot. Curves it in the top corner. You're better from this angle here, Rob. You'll see the way he shapes it. And he knows where he has to put it. That's superb. And it's been a great performance from Real Madrid and Isco and Co. All playing a part. Is it on? Mean, little to Cristiano Ronaldo, but he should get the assist in that sensational goal. But it's good. <laughs> well, he's had a difficult pace. He's got Bale with him. That's guess to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. A little bit of trickery. Right across the face of goal. It evades Benzema. And an important hand from Adam. But back come Real Madrid, flying in the faces of Real Perez. Vasquez, Benzema, oh, magnificent save from Adam. Wrists of iron. Marcelo's cross, Ronaldo still can't score. Well, it's much better from Real Madrid, particularly Ronaldo and Benzema. Benzema's shot was brilliant. Good movement, fabulous shot. 
Great save from Adam, and again, have a look. This is the build up. Tony Cross starts the ball, slide rule pass, wonderful save. And then the cross comes in. You expect Cristiano Ronaldo to. Well, that's a save from Adan as well, but the, the header from. Morata. Ronaldo. Full steam ahead. Ronaldo's on the score sheet. He can't keep him down. And that's how he answers his detractors. Well, that's a good goal. And he's had some very, very good moments in this game. That's certainly the best moment, I think. He's missed the volley at the far post in the first half. But lovely combination play. And that acceleration came, as you see, Rob. He receives it. There he goes. He bursts in between the defenders and he slots it in the bottom corner. He's a great finisher. One of the best finishers the world of football has ever seen. And that is a brilliant finish. Class. Well, a hunger as well to get his name on the score sheet, even though they'd already got five. Well, he was ready with a celebration. He knew exactly where the camera was as well. Yep. Four goals this season. Was it an over exuberant celebration for a sixth goal? Not really. Okay. Vasquez. Now to Morata. Ronaldo gets out of the way into the path of Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, good setup play from Vasquez and Morata to create the opportunity for Cristiano Ronaldo. But this is the target, which is unusual for Cristiano. He can't quite wrap his foot around the ball. Home supporters, oh lays <laughs> as their players make a pass to each other. Fun in adversity. It's wacky. It's a dangerous moment. It's second tonight in La Liga. This is Donisi. Knocked by Pepe. Zazuya across the face of goal. Ruben Castro is blocked. Joaquin tries to find his space. Flamboyant will flip over the top and an easy save for Navas. But it is a much better performance second half, I have to say. This is the ball in for Dermisi. It's blocked initially. Cut back. So Zulia cuts it back again. The shot's blocked. It falls kindly to Joaquin and he flips one over the top. And the header is a pretty tame one from Ruben Castro, but I just feel it's a much better attitude, much better performance in the second half. A goal filled Saturday evening in La Liga. Job well done. Crisis is maybe temporarily over for Zinedine Zidane as he stretches it to 22 games unbeaten. The cameras train on Gus Poyer, testing times for the new manager. Of Real Betis, his team have been hit for six tonight by Real Madrid, who left a little bit in the fuel tank for the Champions League in midweek as well. Real maybe not scoring the seven that Atletico managed earlier in the day, but they're up there on the same.